This meeting is being recorded. Hi, this is Lucas Faust here with Faust Law Office, and I'm lucky enough to visit with Amanda Stevenson. And Amanda is our Teacher of the Month. So Amanda, tell thank you for again for being our Teacher of the Month. We much appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Amanda. Where are you from? Uh, where'd you go to? Where'd you go to school? All that mm -hmm. fun stuff. Um, I'm from Alaska originally, born and raised in Juneau, uh, the capital. And then I moved to Bozeman in 2015 for school. I went to MSU, um, graduated in 2020, did my student teaching in 2020. That was a oh, fun time. During COVID. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. Actually, at the school that I work at now, at Saddle Peak, just upstairs in third grade. Um, and I have a bachelor's in elementary education K-8 and then two minors, one in Hispanic studies and one in K-12 reading teaching. Well, you grew up a long way from Mexico. So how did you get into yeah. his, how'd you get into Hispanic studies? Tell us about that. How'd that spark an interest? Um, I was going to do Spanish teaching, but that would have had to split my student teaching into two different placements and I wanted the full semester. So I just switched it over to the non-teaching option at the end. Oh, great, great. So you, how did you pick Montana State out of all the other schools, both in Alaska and in the lower 48? Yeah, um, Montana is, I like to say, just Alaska with more cowboys. It's very outdoorsy, the mountains, the snow. Um, Juno's on the coast, so it's a lot colder here, but used to the same kind of um, culture here. And I had a friend come to MSU, and then he came back over the Christmas break and summers and was talking about it. And uh, this was a huge leap of faith coming to MSU because I had never even been to Montana at all before freshman move-in day. And so I, it must have stuck, is that right? You enjoyed yep, it here? I, it I never left. Nice. Well, good. Good. That is super. So mm -hmm. um, what do you miss most about Alaska? Um, my family. The only that's the only really thing. Um, there's mountains here and I have my community of friends and my job here and everything, but my mom and my brother still both live in Juneau and I wish it was closer to see them more often. Well, great. So one of the things I ask all the teachers, was there a teacher growing up in Juneau that inspired mm -hmm. you to become a teacher? If so, tell us about him or her. Yeah, Mrs. Gress was my eighth grade social studies teacher, and she was the one that really first made me realize that it could be fun <laughs> to be in school. Um, she did all kinds of like activities and hands on and we did mock trials. We put Christopher Columbus on trial and it was so fun. The witnesses were like a Viking and a Native American leader and all of this. It was so fun. And she really like sparked the love of history as well. Well, that sounds like quite a person to follow behind. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You still stay in touch with her? No, I don't. Okay. My mom's friends with, or Facebook friends with her, but I don't. Personally. Oh, very well. Well, well. Let me do ask. I also ask this question as well. Uh, okay, as important as they are, mm -hmm. setting your faith, your family, and teaching aside, just set those aside. What's the passion in your life, Amanda? What gets you out of bed in the morning besides work? Um, I had a hard time thinking about this one because I feel like, for the most part, my passion is work. But kind of translating into my personal life, I would say just learning. Um, like I mentioned, I speak Spanish and I've dabbled in a bunch of other languages. I'm learning ASL right now. Um, and I read a lot, especially history related. So just trying to learn as much as I can. And I also try to teach that to my kids as well, that I am still learning. You never stop even when you're out of school. What's your favorite part about teaching? The aha moment when kids get it and they realize that they get it and uh, I see I keep a lot of work from the beginning of the year to show them their own growth and progress and I love seeing that pride on their face kindergarten there's a ton of growth they get awesome. so far that is just great so please tell us something about yourself that your students might be surprised about that's hard. I feel like I tell them a lot. They know about my obsession with Taylor Swift and that I went to one of her concerts over spring break. They know I have a dog named Goose. Um, the only thing that I could think of is 
I can solve a Rubik's cube and they would think that's cool. <laughs> hey, that's something for my generation. How did you come up across a Rubik's cube that one fall out of the sky? You trip over one? When did you first get into a Rubik's cube? Um, I needed a fidget toy in middle school and that's one that my teacher had and I just figured out how to solve it in middle school. Did you figure it on your own or did you read a book or did you go online or how'd you, you get figure that? It out. What's it's that? all patterns. I figured it out myself. It's all patterns and algorithms. Well, that is that it by itself, that is something that impresses me. It should impress these <laughs> kindergartners also, because that is something else. But uh, yeah. hey, Amanda, thank you so much for being our teacher of the month. I really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, keep up the good work in your in your community and and playing an important role. And it sounds like you just really have a, uh, a passion for the teaching itself and mm -hmm. for maybe ESL as well. That's a great, yeah. great, great line of work. So thank you so much, Amanda. We appreciate it. I'll go ahead and turn the recording off now. Okay. Thank you.